So Brian, why is chronomid fishing so prominent in still water as opposed to rivers? Well, they're, they're found in both rivers and lakes, but the reason why they're so prolific in lakes is it's standing water, it's more nutrient rich, and so there's a lot of food, there's a good food source for the for the chronomid larvae that are living in the bottom of the lake. A lot of earth, they like muddy bottoms and you don't get that in freestone rivers obviously, but you do in tailwaters and that's why you do a lot of midge fishing in tailwaters. And the other thing is in lakes, we will see chronomid larvae and pupa that reach an inch in length and you would never see that in a, wow. in a river. Right. It's, so it's a better, more stable, warmer habitat in small lakes. Gotcha. Hey, Mr. Chan. Hey, look at that. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> so this is on, you know, first cast in this new setup. Yeah. You went so we deep on this one. Went to a deep seven, a type seven sinking line. So we're late in the afternoon, Hillary, and their fish are going off. The chronomid hatch is, thin, is thinning, mm -hmm. and so the fish are going off the bite on them. So I'm just fishing a, a British pattern, a very flashy pattern. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know they're they're biting it out of aggression, but look okay. at that beautiful fish. Yeah, really. Nice. I'll let you do the honors there. All right, all right, Brian. There's your there fish. You beautiful fish. Yeah, nice. nice. Good boy, Edwards Lake fish going back in. Yeah. Catch them again. Later, later, alligator. Cool. Perfect. Fun times in British Columbia. Early spring product. Good job, Canada. Team Canada. Heck yeah. <laughs>